Hi, I am Miguel del Pozo. My lab is located here in the Spanish National Center for Cardiovascular Research. Today, we'll tell you about Teamwork, a multidisciplinary scientific project accomplished by several labs, which is published in this issue of Cell. Jackie Goetz is the first author of this paper. Hi, Jackie. Hi, my name is Jackie Goetz. I'm a former postdoc in Miguel del Pozo's lab. Today, we'll show you around our lab and tell us about our latest findings published in this issue of Cell. Mechanical force exerted during the interactions between cells and their 3D environment is key for tissue organization and morphogenesis during development and during cancer progression. Cells and matrix surrounding the tumor are also called stroma, and the stroma is thought to influence tumor growth and invasion. My lab is interested in integrins, Roger PPSs, cell migration and caveolar biology. Caveolin 1 is the major component of plasma membrane invaginations named caveoli. Caveolin has a role in membrane trafficking, lipid homeostasis, viral entry and mechanotransduction, but its role in tumor progression remains controversial, displaying a gene and jump behavior. However, most studies have focused on the expression of caveolin in tumor cells and not in the stroma. Our group reported that caveolin regulates morphology and migration of fibrolas in 2D. So we wonder whether caveolin remodels the stroma in 3D. When we placed fibroblasts expressing on that caveolin 1 in 3D microenvironments, we observed drastic differences in cell morphology, with caveolin expressing cells being elongated and caveolin knockout ones being round. But most importantly, the ability of caveolin knockout cells to remodel the surrounding environments was affected. Indeed, using collagen gel contraction assay, we observed that the force they apply on the microenvironment was strongly impaired. Because of this increased contractility, caveolin positive fibrolas create a highly organized, highly parallel and more rigid matrix microenvironment compared to the less organized and less parallel matrix created by caveolin deficient fibrolas. To measure force directly, we use atomic force microscopy in collaboration with Ricardo Garcia and actually showed that while the matrix was 40% stiffer than knockout matrix. This different matrix topography suggested that also normal tissue architecture in vivo should be different. For this, we use second harmonic generation in collaboration with Patricia Keely and actually show differential architecture in mammary glands and skin of caveolin knockout mice. Mechanotransduction and mechanoreciprocity are key determinants of tumor progression. Both of them are driven by intercellular adhesions, cell contractility, and forces generated within the microenvironment. Matrix stiffness and matrix topography have been shown to guide local tumor invasion. We therefore decided to investigate the role of caveolin 1 dependent microenvironment remodeling in tumor cell invasion using two kinds of in vitro invasion assays. In both assays, we observed increased tumor cell invasion, here in green, when they were mixed with caveolin expressing fibroblasts. With the help of Inmaculada Navarro in the lab, we identified P190 row gap as a key player in this pathway. We wanted to confirm this in vitro data with in vivo animal models. For that, we developed several animals models, including allograph and xenograph splant. We saw increased um, stroma remodeling and, most important, increased metastasis only in cabelling positive mice. In this second harmonic generation pictures, we see the collagen fibers in green and the tumor cells in red. Only in wild-type mice, the collagen fibers are highly aligned and perpendicular to the tumor stroma interface, indicating a pro-invasive organization. To see whether this effect was specifically due to stromal fibroblasts, we designed a third animal model. For this purpose, we subcutaneously injected a matrigel plug containing a mixed population of tumor cells and fibroblasts. Again, we consistently observed increased metastasis when caveolin expressing fibroblasts were co-injected, but especially when P190 ROGAP was knocked down in caveolin knockout fibroblasts. Very interestingly, we found a clear correlation between tumor stroma topography and metastatic potency, and therefore wondered what happened in human tumors. So in collaboration with the labs of Edna Kukirman and Paloma Sanchez Mateos, we studied caveolin expression in the stroma of several human tumors, including breast, kidney, colon, as well as melanoma metastasis. In all cases, we saw increased caveolin expression in the stroma. Moreover, for breast cancer, increased caveolin expression in the stroma correlated with poor survival. The take-home message of our paper is summarized in this simple scheme. In stromal fibrolas, caveolin 1 regulates rho via P1 anti up Through actomyosin contraction, this pathway induces mechanical force. Cells are elongated and tense thus organizing a highly parallel and stiff matrix. Without caveolin, the cell has little tension, so the matrix is poorly organized and softer. 
the highly parallel and stiff matrix reshapes other cells and changes their migratory behavior. In the case of tumors, this stiff matrix favors tumor cell migration and invasion. The poorly organized Cavioli negative matrix does not favor tumor cell invasion. These findings could help in resolving the controversial role of Cavioli in cancer, so that the cancer promoting role might rely at least in part on a stromal Cavioli 1. They also indicate that the Cavioli independent biomechanical cell matrix crosstalk is critical for normal tissue architecture. Please see our paper in cell for more details.